Hi everybody, it's Mrs Gregory here. Uh, it's now Thursday um, and our objective that we're going to be looking at today is the word odd and even. Okay, so first of all, I want you to see if you can remember what the word odd and what the word even means because we have talked about this before um, in our maths work. So pause the video. Okay, so the aim is to understand what an odd number is and to understand what an even number is. So what is an even number? Even numbers are numbers which can be laid out in pairs. You can count up in twos and the numbers will be always be even because you are always adding another pair. So zero, two, four, six, eight. Um, and then obviously we'll go back to 10, which has which ends in a zero. Even numbers can also be shared equally between two. They can be halved with no remainders or anything left over. Um, so yesterday, some of the examples we looked at where we were sharing between two, um, even numbers can always be shared equally between two, so you wouldn't have one left over. So half of zero is zero. Half of two is one. Half of four is two. Half of six is three. Half of eight is four. Okay, so you can have a little look now um, at this hundred square and see if you can maybe highlight or point to um, the even numbers in a hundred square. Okay, so you can see them counting along there. There you go, and you can see them all um, on our hundred square there. So that might be an additional activity that you want to do is make your own hundred square um, and do the numbers that are even in one colour and the numbers that are odd in another colour. Um, quite a simple thing for you to be getting on with um, and leaving your grown-ups in peace for a little while. Okay, so even numbers can be small or they can be very big. If a number ends in a zero, two, four, or six, or eight, it is an even number. So number 14, is that odd or even? Even. Number 112, number 100, number 252. Number 20, number 36, number 18. So all of those are even numbers, even those really big numbers that are in the hundreds. So moving on, what is an odd number? Odd numbers are different. They are never in the two times tables. They might be in other table times tables, however. So odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and nine. Okay. And they can't be halved like even numbers can. So you can't do, well, you can do half of a one, but that's another uh, objective that you'll look at when you move up through the school. Um, and they can't be shared equally between two. Um, there is always um, one, an odd one left over. Okay, so again, you can have a look at your 100 square and you can have a go at highlighting those odd numbers. And you can see them all there. And again, an activity, an additional math activity that you might like to get on with. Okay, like even numbers, odd numbers can be small or they can be very big. If a number ends in a one, three, five, seven, or nine, it is an odd number. And then there's just some examples there that you can have a go at reading yourselves. Okay, then, so moving on to your activity for today, you've got a worksheet which is odd and even numbers in your packs. Um, and I would like you to have a go at completing that today. OK, don't forget, you can upload your work to Seesaw. You can take a picture on Dojo um, or you can just leave it in your packs, hand it in when you ne collect your next pack of work. And I will mark and return that for you. OK, well done, everybody.